Hey guys, Tanner69046 here, and I'm back with another episode of Tanner Plays Minecraft here today. Um, I've had a little lapse in videos lately, but that's mainly because of school, and if you can tell by my voice, I've been just insanely struck by allergies in the last few days, and I've been unable to really record. I've also done some messing of settings again, just to, uh... Just to see if I can improve the the um, uh, quality of the videos, which I think I have. So there should be a noticeable difference between the last three videos and this video in quality. Hopefully, <coughs> I might cough during the video too. I'm going to try as hard as possible to not do that, <laughs> but we'll see. Um, today, I've got a couple things planned out. I finished the wheat farm off camera. Um, I want to get that looking decent because it's still just a complete stone little room looks terribly ugly I've got some glass I want to put a cap on the on the ravine here and hopefully if we have the time I would like to maybe build a sugarcane farm because I went I grabbed some cows off camera too I'll show you real quick uh, right there put them in a pen Hopefully we can uh, we can get some leather and enough sugar cane to make a full enchanting table, and we can get started on enchanting because I also did a lot of off camera work, and I got 14 diamonds this pick, <laughs> all the ores we can dream of, and then there's another vein of diamonds down that stairwell there that will show you. Uh, there's like six of them maybe. I don't want to mine it until I get fortune three. And with this little experience grinder, hopefully it shouldn't be too hard to do. I was hoping that I would talk until this thing maxed out, but man, it never did. It has to be close, right? I don't want to break this thing. Yeah, I can break that block, right? I just can't break that one. Yeah. Oh, it's close. <laughs> what does it need? Like one more? And we're not going to get that with me standing here. Okay. Come on, zombie. Spun for me. Yeah, it should just be like... Oh, that'll do it right there. Did you hear him spawn in? <laughs> Alright, let's... Let's get this thing maxed out and then we'll grind out some XP... And then we'll move on to maybe decorating up that wheat farm. Here I'm going. There we go up. Come on, go up. <laughs> there they go. <laughs> and he's gonna fall any second now. That's not enough, are you kidding me? <laughs> That's not enough. Three. There it is. Oh, that actually works really well. I like how it flashes. I got I had feather falling or something. Alright, what, like two levels almost? I really like the flashing and the ding, though. Okay, I'm gonna get some stuff together and then we can work on this wheat farm. Right, so in the last episode, we basically built this thing and then realized we built it entirely wrong and I rebuilt it off camera. But it does work now, and I've harvested it once so that I would have a little bit of wheat for um, for the cows. And, you know, for myself. <laughs> I had to get some potatoes because I ran completely out. And, yeah, here it is in this chest right here. I didn't realize there was that many potatoes in here. But, yeah, that's, um, it's missing some wheat, too. I took it out on my own. Need a better way out of here. Need a better way to just do that entirely. But this is what it's looking like. First thing I think we need to address is we're going to need some overhead lights because as of right now, the torches have to be <laughs> completely on the wall or there's not enough light to plant and for the wheat to grow. So that'll be something to address. And we're going to have to completely close off that cave. And I think I'm going to go for a stone theme here. Maybe similar to the railroad I built in Season 5 of Tornado Survival, if you remember that. 
So some iron bars and some lava will be a popular theme. But that's what we're looking at so far. I don't know how I'm going to do the overhead lights, but we'll see. I'm going to figure it out. <laughs> so I'm going to mess with some design ploys and then I'll show you what I've come up with so far. Alright, so I'm back to give you guys an update on the building progress here. This is the general concept I have. So basically, I'm going to fill up all of these walls with stone brick. And so this, these walls here, this wall and that wall will be stone brick. And then I'll occasionally have these lava windows there, the falling lava. And then the ceiling's a work in progress. It's going to be planks, but I think I'm only going to do one row of glowstone down the middle here. And I think that'll be too wide, won't it? Three. Yeah, it'll be too wide. Too wide glowstone down the middle compared to the outside things. I don't like those. And I might throw some dark oak there. I don't know. But I just want to show you all the process my mind goes through while building. <laughs> so this is this is what we're looking at. <laughs> Uh, it is ready to harvest, so I think I'm going to block this off, and I need to test if if this actually works. Um, the, the thing here, what? I don't know where those zombies come from, but he's going to break my sword, and that is not going to make me happy. Let me get a snap. Oh no, we still got a sword. Okay, let's cut up some stone here and make it all stone brick, because we're going to use that much anyways. And let's just put a bottom layer of stone brick. So if it does wash away. Basically I want to test and see if it's going to wash away this carpet. Which I think it will. <laughs> so I'm not going to be too surprised when it does that. Um, where did we decide to put the button? I don't know. I, don't, ugh, I hate this. Does that work? Yeah it does. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> Oh man, hmm, so it worked here, I wonder why it stopped right there, I wonder, <laughs> I wonder, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's all I got for you is I wonder, <laughs> I don't know, let's do some further testing shall we, so I guess whenever it falls, hmm, maybe we need to extend, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> it almost worked. Let me do some on-camera thinking here. What a genius idea. Uh, so, what we saw was the water, and it got here. It hadn't fallen yet, so... If we... <laughs> Extend this to here and put that there. Put that there and put that there. Will that fix the problem? Find out next time on total no. Let's let's just see. Oh, don't inspect it. There we go. <laughs> okay. Okay. We're just gonna test here. You know, we can always switch up the design to if we decide that this looks ugly with this extra stone block, we can always throw in some different blocks. But the idea is if this works, that would be that'd be great. One last time, I don't know why I keep doing that. <laughs> and then stair, right. Alright, let's try it one more time. Yoink. Oh, I forgot to collect the weed on this side. Don't want that to despawn. That's valuable stuff right there. That's overshooting now. Okay. It still did it. <coughs> now, why doesn't why doesn't this wash away is the question. Hmm. <laughs> Might have to do some off camera investigating here. But we'll see. I've pretty much wrapped up here on the interior design of this. I've got a couple more things I gotta do. I just need to get the lava. I did the math. I think this is 27 blocks from this block to that other dirt block. So I think three, you know, is uh, either nine or three are the only divisible numbers there. And that's by one. It's not by two. So 
excuse me as I cough my lungs out. I'll try to try to edit that out as much as possible, but <laughs> sometimes you can't. So I got these lamps every three. I decided on lamps. I think I think it matches with the the darkness there and then the light kind of contrast. You know, it's 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 got the color theme pretty much. And then I put a wall of water, which really looks nice, I think. And behind there, let's see, can I get this back down? Uh, don't worry, that'll be fixed. I need to put water back under there. And, yeah, these wall of water. If only they were the same color water, though. It almost has like a... Like the uh, two sides contrast each other, almost. It makes me want to decorate this side different than that side. Like, I think that side looks better than this side because of the blue. But it's it works out. So this is pretty much what I'm going with. I just got to do the finishing touches and then I'll show you the finished product. Alright, so I'm putting the finishing touches here on the wheat farm. And I just recorded a clip, right? Turns out I didn't turn my music off. So I can't use that clip. But basically, I had to build a miniature pumpkin farm. Because for the finishing touches, I need pumpkins. Because I want to make jack-o'-lanterns and I need light right here and... That's what the jack-o'-lanterns are for. I could have used glowstone, but that just seems like a waste of glowstone to me. But with jack-o'-lanterns underneath these carpets here, this whole thing is lit up enough so that there's plenty of light and we can plant everywhere. <laughs> Whoops. Um, but I don't have enough. So I gotta get... I wanna put jack-o'-lanterns under all the carpet, by the way, except for the ones that show. Because I want the light to be distributed evenly, hopefully. <laughs> so that's the plan there. If you'll notice, these have been extended out one more. So I did some testing with the water with purple. And it turns out if you extend these out one more for some reason, the water will stay on track and not disrupt our carpet. Which is exactly what we want. Also added these little spiral blocks just because without it it seemed kind of bland. But yeah, I think the room is growing on me I think I like it I like it I was having issues at first and I was getting concerned but it turned out well I just wish our water would match oh actually I like that water I feel like I built off of that water right it matches everything more oh, I missed two blocks right there that is crazy please don't wash away my redstone <laughs> okay so yeah this is pretty much complete I just gotta get enough pumpkins to finish that and other than that I think we should uh, move on to enchanting off camera I gathered what books we had and what enchanting and all that we had and I put them in this little room here next to the staircase to prepare for this and we got what two four we got six books or six bookshelves and also got some XP off camera I don't know if that was I did a little bit of the mob grinder, but I also went caving. I don't remember if I showed that or not, but I found tons of diamonds that I can't wait to mine once we have enough, or once we have the fortune to mine them. I didn't, I passed on them just so we would have the optimal amount of diamonds from what we found, <laughs> because I like diamonds, right? And I want to get my most from my money, so we're going to try and get fortune three, and then I'll go mine those diamonds. I got all the screenshots to them. But first, we got to actually set up our enchanting thing. So I put up a small little cow farm here. <laughs> yeah, and it's, uh, it's getting overrun at this point. But I put this here just so we would have enough leather, and I'm just going to kill all the adults at this point. <laughs> Because we started with a stack here, so that means there's at least, gosh, 30 cows in here. Yeah. There's at least 30 cows. Maybe more than that. Which is pretty ridiculous. Yeah. We're being pushed around here. Alright, let's go ahead and, uh... Try not to kill the babies. <laughs> PETA, turn your eyes. But we gotta get the leathers one way or another. So some of the babies are being killed, unfortunately, but... That's mainly due to how crowded this thing is. Once we uh, get some room, we shouldn't have sweeping edge issues like that. 
Quit running around and make this easier on me. Okay, slowly but surely. <laughs> there should be some injured ones around here too, so. There we go. There we go. How much leather we got? 34? I think we're doing well. Regardless of if we have enough, this place is getting crowded anyways. So we need to... We need to kill them off. <laughs> Not to mention, some of these should be injured at this point. Darn it. I meant to not do that. Uh, you there. Alright. Last one. There we go. Alright, little ones. <laughs> grow up to be large. I also got carried away with the sugar cane, uh planting here. I don't I don't think we'll need near this much sugar cane, but that's all right. It's good to have enough, I guess. But I'm going to craft all these in the books and we'll see how close we are to having enough for this enchanting table. So apparently the traveling villager got killed by a zombie based on the remains I found on the ground and also <laughs> Apparently one of his buddies got killed in the process too, based on the piece of leather I found on the ground. So I think we just tamed us a llama there. And also got two free leads. <laughs> so uh, that's always a good gift, I guess. Thank you, game. So it turns out we had enough and then some. Look at the extra sugar cane I had. And then we had 20 extra books, uh, some extra paper, and I made a bookshelf. An extra one by accident. I guess I just didn't count right. But that means we're ready to enchant. So we're going to take our pick here. We're going to take all our diamonds. And we're going to take some sticks, of course. There's a crafting table floating around here. There it is. And we've got 41 levels. So, oh, we almost forgot the most important thing. Going to need some lapis. Whoops. I don't want... I want, I want the little. There we go. Thank you. Okay. Now we are ready to enchant. Come on, Fortune 3. <laughs> What's this first one? Efficiency 4, huh? That's tempting. It really is. Uh, knockback 2. Power 4. Uh, we don't really have a lot here. Let's just go ahead and start out with a pick and hope for the best. Efficiency 4 and breaking 3. It's not, it's not what we wanted <laughs> by any means. Impaling 4. No, thank you. Unbreaking three. What are all these unbreaking three? Unbreaking three. What's the bow? If we get infinity on the bow, I'll obviously try that. Protection three. What's this? Unbreaking three. Okay, we're going to make another pick and hope for the best again. You can never have too many picks. We're going to... Oh, unbreaking three. We're really going to try for, uh, for fortune three here, which means we got about two more shots at it <laughs> and then from there it's just beginning to get unfortunate I would I would have to say uh, where's our wood where'd my wood go um, there's a plank <laughs> come on I'm probably staring yeah I'm probably staring at some of you guys are yelling at me Turn his wood right there, grab it. No, 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 go back, grab it, grab it. No, 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 no. Go, Patrick, grab it, grab it. Okay, let's see, another pick, shall we? <laughs> we'll check the other enchants just to see, unless this is fortune. Oh, it is fortune three. I mean, mm. <laughs> mm. I think you go for the bow here. Wait, wait, put it on a full bow, you idiot. <laughs> Let me just put this on a broken bow. <laughs> I think we might be able to keep the fortune three, even with even with the bow enchant here. But we're gonna we're gonna take it. This is an opportunity. I don't know why the string in the middle there. I'll tell you what, if we kill these guys, that's definitely gonna be enough to get the level. Yeah, thirty-six. Okay, we've got three more enchants lined up. So we're going to do this bow, and then we'll have two enchants. And you got to take the bow here. Infinity. Oh, yeah. That's why you take the bow there. That's a, that's an OP bow. 
Oh, it did, it just it did change it up. <gasps> Looting three on a diamond sword. I don't, I don't know how anyone can pass that up either. So we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to take that. Even in vein of arthropods, I don't care. And then hopefully we get fortune. Nope, darn it. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna have to do some grinding off camera to get to level thirty because. <laughs> That's just that's unfortunate, but I couldn't I couldn't pass on the bow there. I really couldn't. All right, I'll uh, I'll come back to you whenever I've got level 30 again. All right, using the handy dandy XP grinder, I've gotten another 30 levels, and come on, fortune. Darn it! <laughs> we can only do one more of these, so that's uh that's unfortunate. Let's see here. Unbreaking three, huh? Quick charge, fire aspect, fire aspect. Oh, yeah, right, that makes sense that that's like that. Um, chest plate, thorns is disgusting. I don't want to do an enchant without it saying, saying that it's going to be fortune. Oh, well, we can always go for it and see what happens. Be right back. All right, here we go. Another attempt. That's not the enchanting table. <laughs> you can hear the stupid thing down there dinging because it's ready again. Uh, yeah, we got it. <laughs> Heck yeah, my boys. That was uh, it was only semi-stressful, let me tell you. Shut up. I know. We're going to harvest them. Much better. <laughs> Look, now we're already up to level 28 again. Now, oh, we can use the grindstone too to... Get some extra bonus XP there. Might as well uh, get us full, full golden helmet there. So we're gonna hop into the caves now, and hopefully, uh, get the right stuff things. What? We're gonna go and we're gonna get, <laughs> we're gonna get the diamonds that I left down there. So be right back. All right, we have our first set of diamonds here. Let's clear our inventory. It should be just three, but let's see how many we get. Wow, that's a uh, that's fortune for you. I'm glad we waited to do that. That's uh, that's incredible. I'm so, I'm glad we got so many diamonds there. <laughs> Maybe we'll get luckier with the next vein. All right, so this one's an eight vein. <laughs> Last time we got three from three. Let's see what we get from eight. All right, that's a little better. All right, so from eight, we got 18. So we got 10 extra, which is about, what? A little more than two per one. So that's not bad at all. Let's head to the next vein and see how many we get this time. So our last vein is just two. We got 21. Let's see where it gets us. Oh man, we got seven from two, which is just over three diamonds per ore. So I think in the end we did what 13 and we got 28. So we got a little more than two per ore, which is not bad at all. And uh, diamond supply is really coming along now. Because what now that we we got our uh, sword and picks, so now we just need one, four, eight, fifteen, twenty-three, twenty-eight. Oh, look at that! We got just enough diamonds if we play our cards right. But I think we're gonna need more than what we have. So I'll probably do a little more strip mining off camera. But for now, we're pretty set. And unfortunately, I have a long way back. It's a base from here. It's a, a strip mine pretty far out here. So it's not going to be an easy road getting back. I'm, if you'll see, I'm like 300 blocks out. So it's going to be a while getting back, but I'll be able to do it. That's going to do it for this episode, though. Hope you all enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe if you did. Got any comments for me? Leave them, suggestions, criticism, uh, appreciation, all that. Put it in the comments below. But for now, it's going to do it. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.